Ecological Paradigm, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 201. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sabel. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 201, January 29th, 2017 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred all of the written content for the Caring and Kindness lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan is purposed to teach all subjects, to all learning levels, in any learning environment, using the central theme of caring and kindness. Behind the scenes, we completed 100% of the written part of the diversity lesson plan. We also completed the second 50% of the mind map for the cognition lesson plan, bringing it to 100% complete, which you see here. And we recolored all the highest good education icons to match the master icon and for video use, and then updated the site with them. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team edited and added information to the what is and the overview sections of the food bars page, which you see here, bringing it to approximately 18% completion. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. The core team, working with Ashwini Ramesh, civil engineer and project manager, put another combined total of 15 hours into the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was behind the scenes review and continued writing and editing of the sustainable site selection, planning, and preparation Google Doc that also contains the site clearing, preparation, and maintenance details. You can see some of this work here. The core team also created and revised the structural engineering icons in eight colors for the highest good housing. And we created two new communal eco shower structure renders for the Earth Bag Village Pod 1. Next, we will merge these to create the final render. Adrian Gould Choquette, mechanical engineer, also finished her sixth week helping create the standardized AutoCAD layers and line weights template. This week's focus was several rounds of integrating the feedback and suggestions from all the other disciplines on our team. And Dean Scholz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 53 of Dean's work, developing renders for the living spaces. This week's focus was on sections and renders for the second floor sleeping areas of the southwest wing. Adding details to Dean's previous work, Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, added people and nature elements to create this new final render of the Cobb Village front view and this front view looking northwest, this back view looking east, and this center view looking northeast. 
Jiming Chen, designer with his master's in architecture and BA in engineering, also continued helping develop the Treehouse Village Pod 7. What you see here is his 11th week of this work, focusing on test rendering the entire village you see here with Collins' tree placeholders, and finishing the plans and running test renders as seen here for the shower and bathroom standalone tower structures. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 29th week helping with the compressed earth block village pod 4 design details. This week's focus was updates to the kitchen renders, creation of accurate outdoor earth block benches, and simplifying the AutoCAD colors and layers. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team started working on 3D visualizing the structural support updates for the cupola that tops the duplicable city center. You can see the beginnings of this work here. We also made additional formatting and image changes to the Duplical City Center component of the Seven Villages online book. And Jin Shifeng, environmental consultant, continued her research helping us create an in-depth washing machine sustainability analysis. What you see here is her 19th week of behind-the-scenes work on this area of the project. This week's focus was writing the data analysis, content, and creating infographics explaining what's possible when maximizing sustainability in this area. Hayes Lay, Structural Engineer, and Shuna Ni, nee, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, also continued their work on the City Center Structural Engineering. This week's focus was roof engineering, fixing stairway conflicts with existing beams, and beginning the process of updating the structural calculations based on commonly available steel members. Shubham Agrawal, Electrical Engineer, continued his work on the electrical and control and automation systems designs for the city center. What you see here are a couple photos from the weekly collaborative call with Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, and the new tool Shubom created for calculating solar and battery sizing and needs. Jin Yu, structural engineering designer, also completed her second week working on the concrete foundation design and tutorial details for the Duplical City Center. This week's focus was on the wall footings and basement design details. And Henan Dantes, mechanical engineer, continued with his sixth week working on creating our next generation of duplicate city center sections, layout organization, layer updates, and color updates. This week's focus was modeling the new dome geometry at each floor level and then applying this to the floor plans. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team finished the one community aspect of our open source and replicable annual social media strategy. You can see a small snapshot of this work here. Hannah Gibbs, web developer, also completed her third week of helping develop the Taxes and Sustainable Community Building page. What you see here are the second round of custom images she's created that will link to the tax codes for each state. Ashwin Patil, web developer, continued with his 15th week developing the new search engines for our site. This week's work included another round of revisions and updates for the highest good education component and completing version 1.0 of the complete Straw Bale Village search engine. What one community is doing is creating a new ecological paradigm. Our idea is that if we can make ecology and sustainability easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And our path to doing that is through open source and free share tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. That highest good living is an evolution of sustainability, which combines physical sustainability with emotional sustainability to create a way of living that we think that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. 
This means that the easy enough, affordable enough is taken care of through the open source and free shared aspect and the do-it-yourself instructions. And the attractive aspect is taken care of through that way of life that most people will find to be better than the way they're living right now. This evolution of sustainability that takes the foundations of physical sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, open sources and free shares those, along with open source and free shared models for high good education, high good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting those together as the ultimate expression of one community, which one community will be the prototype for. A teacher demonstration community village city or hub designed to teach others how to build teacher demonstration hubs as well. This is what we want to create that will be self-replicating. If we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it attractive enough, the new ecological paradigm that we are facilitating will happen through a self-replicating model like this, a solution model specifically designed to help create additional ecological paradigm solution creating models. It's like 3D printing sustainable communities, only it doesn't require a 3D printer. The idea is that we are creating seven different sustainable villages, all the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints for the economic model, for-profit, non-profit business models, the education model, the fulfilled living practices, the energy infrastructure, the housing infrastructure, waste processing infrastructure, all of those specifics so that people can take what they like and replicate it and open source and free shared so that they can do it differently if they prefer to do it differently. And if these organizations or your organization wants to work with us to create additional iterations building off of what it is that we're doing, then we will be in a position to be able to promote those organizations and to add those global resources to our own resources as additional spin-offs of what it is that we're doing. So this is what we're creating. We're doing everything that we're doing so that we can build one community, invite eventually tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people to visit, but almost immediately, 50 to 100 people at a time to be able to visit, to participate in what it is that we're creating, and then start bringing on ecotourism visitors and more and more people from that point forward as we expand and build additional villages. Sustainable because it will generate enough revenue to expand indefinitely. Once the seed capital is produced, we buy the property and build the first village. This is what one community is doing. This is our idea of ecological paradigm creation and how to create a model that is open source and free shared so others can participate in ecological paradigm creation as well. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, we invite you to get involved in whatever way works best for you. We've got lots of different ways to do that, the easiest of which is just through sharing our information on social media. We're open sourcing and free sharing everything and we are on all the different social media groups and uh, media networks to make it as easy as possible to get our information out there. This includes Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, and about 15 other Pinterest, 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to share our information. Of course, people ask, well, what is the, what's the most grand thing that could help one community right now? Well, the largest thing that would help us right now is we're still seeking that large scale funding, that seed money to purchase the property, to get the property off the market, put it underneath our ownership, the control of our nonprofit organization so that we can disclose the location. In the meantime, our primary focus right now is on everything that's necessary to be shovel ready so that we can start building as soon as possible. So if somebody wanted to help us accelerate that process, the open sourcing process that we're doing right now, allow, uh, helping us to get the property off the market and allowing us to share that location, disclose that location would allow us to uh, exponentially grow, build our team a lot faster and answer the number one question that we get asked, which is, hey, where's one community going to be? Well, until that property's off the market, we can't say for sure, but we're pretty sure because we've been working with the same property for six years now, and uh, we're confident that that's where we'll be building. All that said, One Community is a all-volunteer organization. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing, so the small donations make a really big difference. Thank you for the $5 donations, the $10 donations, the $25 donations, the $50 donations. Like Those little donations really help us to keep doing what it is that we're doing because none of us are paid for what we're doing. So all that money goes to our website expenses and all the other expenses of rubbing, running a global organization like ours, but none of it goes to wages or paying anybody because all of our team is a volunteer, our volunteers. And this is part of the ecological paradigm that we're creating, open sourcing and free sharing. And our entire model is designed so that others can do the exact same thing. 
live off grid, live sustainably, live self sufficiently. And the more that they share what it is that they're doing, the more they open source what it is they're doing, the more they work with us as a global collaboration to create a better world, a world that truly works for everybody. Carrying the consciousness for the highest good of all of humanity and bringing people together that share that consciousness to create a world that truly works for everybody. And so the more that people contribute to the open source and the free sharing, the more the model supports itself. And that's what one community the prototype will demonstrate and everybody that comes and visits will be helping to support that while simultaneously experiencing everything that it is so that they can make an educated decision on whether or not something that they'd like to bring into their life. Either it's just an individual component or it's the complete teacher demonstration hub designed to be a part of that new ecological paradigm of people living self-sufficiently sustainably in what will be a self-replicating model of sustainability because it's been demonstrated as easy enough, affordable enough, and providing a way of living that most people will consider to be the way better than the way that they're living right now and will want to live that way. So the more fun we're having, the more amazing the space is that we create, the more we're accomplishing our mission. And this is why we're taking so much time and energy to create a place that is beautiful, that is truly sustainable, that is artistic, and that is built around fulfilled living practices and education program and an economic model that constantly shares itself and grows based on the happiness of everybody that's participating and the more people we invite to come and join what is it we're doing to experience what is it we're doing either as members or just as visitors. This is how one community is creating a better world. This is what we're doing right now. You're invited to participate. You're invited to join us. If what we're doing uh, is something that you'd like to get a weekly update. If you'd like more details, more specifics on everything that we're doing, of course, you can visit our written blog. If you'd like a weekly update, every time one of these updates comes out, uh, just send an email to One Community Updates and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And uh, thanks for following our progress and thanks for watching till the end. Till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.